Hello. I think we have very few people who want to now. Hello, is some um, all right? Good evening. How are you? I guess Very well. I don't know. Do, do we do we wait for others? I want to talk, and I'm um, asking going to class with you so far. I'll be on and do the class and all. Okay. What has been your thoughts and how have been the assignments so far? There are still relief. We are only two in the class right now. Two. What do we do? Do we wait for others? This is Uluwashala. How are we? I'm fine. Good evening, sir. I don't know. Yes. We are, we are, only, we are only gradually coming up. Okay. Bye, John. The journey one after the other. But then, why are we waiting for them? Can we share our thoughts on the assignment I gave on the page, on the Telegram page? I gave my assignment this evening on the Telegram page. Can we share our thoughts? Um, let you can write in what we think about the assignments um, on the on the chat room. What do you think about it? Are we able to apply the methods properly, or we have not done it at all? How to get that? How would you feel about the assignments? And um, what did we really uh, see? Uh, were we able to practice at the badminton since I don't already know. Okay. What about others? Can I have the thoughts of others, please? Uh, I like us to do this discussion I said to you today. And basically, the discussion I say is a very similar dimension to uh, opinion viewpoint essay. And um, we don't really have much to do when it comes to discussion essay. And uh, except the fact that you just some few parameters that should change. Now, there's a, there's a kind of... Um, contention about this issue I want to raise now. But I, I'm talking I'm talking that I'm talking to us from a very personal training point of view. This was what I was exposed to in training and I'd like to apply it to everyone. Okay. In this question essay. But maybe if I go to the essay, what are the uh, different aspects of an opinion essay for the introduction, for the body, and uh, for the conclusion. Who can tell us so that we can know whether we are together or not? Why different aspects for the, for the opinion essay? 
Look at tell us. You can type it in, you can say it verbally. Are you waiting for us? Okay. All right. Good. How about for the body? Nobody is talking yet. Hello. Nobody is talking yet, too. I, I will. Yeah. yeah. So, what does the body entails? Topic sentence examples. All right. Good. Now, for discussion essay, we have the same structure, but there are instead of us to have a concession in the second um, paragraph, we are going to be having a body too. So we have um, introduction. Body one, body two, conclusion, and that's the other. Now, in the introduction, there is something that is key that changes. Not, not that the other changes. We, all, we still have the neutral statement, the background statement, the uh, uh, thesis statement, and that but same thing. But the way you will phrase your thesis statement and after statement is going to change a little. Now, this is a typical discussion essay. Uh, some people say cigarette is bad, while others say it is not so. Okay? Um, discuss the two views and uh, uh, give your personal opinion or give your opinion. All right? So, that is the simple framework of the question. It can also come by just telling you what is your opinion. All right? Like the other one we saw that was saying, which of the two, in your opinion, is to be applied, is to be used to fund. I mean, is, is to be applied to fund for, or is to fund for um, education or whatever it is. Like the one we read at that time. If you are not able to like know what it basically um, entails in the order, you may have an issue. And what does it entail in here? Just take up that thesis statement. In order to say, I agree or I disagree, or in my opinion or whatever. Tell us what the essay is talking uh, what the essay is dealing with. This essay is having, or this essay, or this viewpoint are two contrast viewpoints, or these views are contrasting views, or these are contrasting views, or these are interesting views, or these are conflicting viewpoints. Okay, full stop. Or these are conflicting views. Full stop. This essay will discuss the two views and a personal opinion will be drawn. That is a way to like give your simple um, thesis statement and apply statement. Because the essay is asking you to give your opinion. And then in this situation, you give your opinion in the conclusion. All right? So, but um, um, in your introduction, you let us know these are two contrasting views or these are two conflicting views, or these are two um, uh, 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 these are two uh, distort, uh, I mean, conflicting views or contrasting views. Then we move to your conclusion, I mean, to your um, outline statement and say, this essay will discuss the two points, the two viewpoints, and a final opinion will be drawn 
in the conclusion or in the final opinion, opinion will be given in the conclusion or just say the final opinion will be drawn full stop now your opinion now now comes in the conclusion now if you remember very well your body is going to be having two two um ideas for the first body and second body then your conclusion is going to be having a restatement of your opinion viewpoint okay and your own opinion and that opinion is going to be in my opinion comma you not tell us your opinion so you, the first thing is going to be a um is that called a statement? i said i meant to say um a, a paraphrase of your outline which which is simply which is simply going to be what you discuss in your topic sentence for, for the paragraph one for paragraph two uh, for for the two um paragraphs so it's going to be something like this, this essay is in, in conclusion this essay discussed this and that and this and that on this and that example we're talking about secrets this is discussed the adverse effect i mean the positive past aspect of cigarettes okay and the um uh, uh the negative or the, the disadvantages that could come from cigarette full stop okay in my opinion okay cigarette is having more detrimental effects on population or cigarette will likely have a, 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 a more or, or a, a terrible special effect on the human populace than whatever because it's it, this and that. So you, you tell us your opinion and give, give your reason. Don't just say your opinion. And that is the depth about the opinion that you give in your conclusion. All right? So let's have it in a very simple way and let's, um, uh, uh, um, you know, uh look at how we can actually um apply it in our writing it's just simple that's the different aspect and now most people oftentimes confuse um discussion essay with opinion viewpoint essay how the opinion viewpoint essay begins to uh uh, uh um, express a sec a second body paragraph that will be talking about the opposite view of that initial uh, uh, point that is not what you're supposed to write it's a concession so the key difference between opinion viewpoint and and the um, discussion is the fact that the fact that concession is lacking that is it and then number two you will not be telling us your view in the introduction you will tell us in the conclusion so the head comes to the tail for the discussion and then the tail comes to the head for the opinion viewpoint so it's really simple now the reason why it may appear to be a bit tough is you will need to your in your in your idea planning you will need to be writing three to four different ideas for each of those aspects and that makes it a bit complicated and complex but it is it's, it's not still difficult if you are able to like really spend your time to really think and know what to write okay now so that we not waste time at all i'd like us to move to idea essay idea essay in dealing with idea essay idea essay is similar to discussion essay but it does not have a thesis statement i want to get that it's similar to discussion essay but does not have a thesis statement. So, I did now, in my own opinion, is um, discussion essay. But the other thing again is, you will have to let us know in your after statement what you are discussing. Or like this essay, we discuss the two points, and uh, and if I know, opinion will be drawn. That does not operate in a essay. Do you understand? What operates is that you will have to let us know, you know, uh, what you are writing on, but not in the same language that was used in the question. So if this, and now, so I, 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 let me talk about the types of ideas before I talk about how you write it, okay? 
for a JSA, there's there are no little types, they are just formats of question. Basically, there are two question essay. That's all. Advantage, disadvantage, cause, effect, cause, solution. And then the cross ask you two different questions. What is the advantage of I mean what is the benefit of music in the community? And how can music be created as a form of rehabilitation for, for, for people that abuse drugs or substance? Okay. So these are the little different issues that is, uh, that, that is established, okay, for um, idea essay. So now what differences you will now see is the way you're going to frame mm, i remember something and i want to, uh, and i want to go back quickly the way you're going to frame your topic sentence for open uh, for discussion essay it's not the same way you framed up your but uh, your, your opinion viewpoint essay remember in the opinion viewpoint essay we started with to, uh, to start with perhaps the foremost reason okay but in this question, I see it's not like that. What you're going to be saying is supporters of this view or supporters of this point argue that agitators of this point argue that. that those are the points you can use. Um, uh, proponents of this point argue that. Now, it, was, it is the same format for the way you write noun persons. I want to see if I can copy it right here and then um, just um, allow us to have it. Uh, you can just, if I copy up, copy it up and paste here, or just to do, just copy it, um, copy it into your, into your system or your phones or your booklets. And then you can use that framework, you know, to, uh, to, to draft. Um, if you're going to be starting up, uh, uh, and I mean, uh, and a, a opinion, I mean, a discussion essay. Not those differences. I want to try and paste them out so that we can have them. Okay. Just give me a few seconds. Now, so get that point clear and let's see how we can apply it. Okay. All right. It is, it is, yes, yes. You have to use your now your 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 connected device. Connected device is a compulsory way to start up um, to start up any form of essay you are writing. is the, is the, is the most most uh, effective way to start up anything. Now let me just. I want to try and copy it on here. Please just um, paste. All right. So here is it. Look at it. Now persons, your, your essay body, one idea can start with now persons. All right. That this is this essay body one idea. Now for the for 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 your discussion essay, those who support this claim that those who oppose this, you know, report that or allude that. Those who accept this claim that those who reject it are looked at. Okay, so it's just a very simple way to start up your of your body one. Okay, now let me show you another one, please. This is a, this is a bit more more loud than this other one. Okay. The, the reason I'm pressing is because I believe that. Uh, you may not really be able. You may not really be able to like settle down to write everything I'm saying. Okay. Okay. Now look at look look at look at this. Please, this is a very good way to frame up. Look at it. Oh, sorry. I copied. I, I copied. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this stuff. On the one hand, those who support taxation of fossil fuel promote the idea that 
Look at the other one. Furthermore, proponents of wealth taxes claim that. Now, the, the second point here is, however, opponents of wealth tax are able to set evidence that. Now, this is the, please can I copy this out? This is the appropriate way to express your point, your ideas when dealing with discussion essay. The appropriate way. So, learn to get it to become a normal part of your writing for discussion essay. Don't just say to start with one of the, mm -mm, that is opinion direction, or to start with the foremost reason that, or the foremost basis for this and that is that. That is directed towards V point, v point essay. But for discussion essay, this is how you start, okay? On the one hand, those who support taxation. Now, this total support taxation is a, is a form of now person, okay? Or proponents of wealth taxes, supporters of wealth taxes, and all that. They are very, very good ways to, like, um, start up. And then you, can, you may maintain that same point. Furthermore, that is your second point. Proponents of wealth taxes claim that supporters, proponents, those who support. All right? Eh? Supporters, proponents, those who support. There are the ways you can actually put your point. And they can also you now, now, now persons too. Like the ones we earlier used. Um, dealing with, um, dealing with now persons. I don't know whether you can, let me refer let me to that quickly. Um, um contributors to so and so claim that res uh, recipients of so and so uh, uh, i mean um relate that or communicate um, not communicate is not actually correct but you can just use the words that are more appropriate to that so um let me continue with idea essay now in dealing with your idea essay i've said all just need to remove is the thesis statement. Okay. Now, if you can pull out the statement from your from, from it, you are of course you have gotten your point, and then use synonyms. Now there are synonyms for some words that we use in our idea essay, like um, cause, effect, solution. There are synonyms for that. I like to write this down. Okay. So that you can now, if you want to talk about solutions, what other words can you use? This essay will discuss. Please, someone should post that startup signal for discussion essay. But please, can somebody help me repost that? Thank you. Now, look at some of the words that you can use. When dealing with solution, all right. Look at it. Measures, steps, initiatives, policies, programs. So the words you can use for cause and effect. Cause and effect. Okay. And then I will also put some other words for solution too. So that when you are going to be writing. This essay will discuss, you not just say the causes and the solution. You can say this essay will discuss the origin, or this essay will discuss the roots, or the factors, or the life factors, all right, of so and so, and the remedies, or how the remedy can be, I mean, I, I mean uh, and the ways that can be solved, or met methods to address it, or answers to the problem. Do we understand? So these words are words you can apply when dealing with that. Now, when you want to start up your, your body paragraph for cause and solution, cause and effect, you will imitate the way you started your opinion viewpoint essay. All right? However, instead of talking about reasons, now, I, I like to let us know something quickly about what what we intend to write under 
our um, under our uh, uh, our body for opinion viewpoints. Our focus is directed towards reasons for discussion essays. We may still be talking about reasons, but here the reasons is is tilted towards you know what other people think because it's not our own viewpoints. It's other people's viewpoints. Our opinion only comes in the conclusion with a reason. All right. Meanwhile, we also have the uh, uh, the idea essay, and the idea essay is directed towards what question is asked, not the reasons. Are we making sense from what I'm saying? I, I like us to communicate. I feel like I'm doing one year. Please, if you are with me, kindly just say yes or something. If you are hearing me, I will not be distracted. Yes. We are together. Eh? Yes. All right. Yes. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay. 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 I said this. I said the first um, um, opinion viewpoint essay. Opinion viewpoint essay this with reasons. Discussion essay this with the thoughts or the reasons. I mean, let, 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 let me come again. Opinion viewpoint essay this with your own reasons. The discussion essay this with their own reasons. Okay. <coughs> um, um, idea essay, this with the exact question that was asked. Is it causes? Is it solution? Is it effect? Is it disadvantage? And is it this, uh, its, uh, um, advantages? Now, that is what will reflect in your outline statements. That's the reason why if you put the reasons for the discussion essay in your outline statement, it's going to be conflicting. Let, let, now let me give you a typical outline statement for discussion essay, for idea essay, and for opinion, I mean, uh, and, for, and, and for opinion viewpoint essay. A typical outline. I'm ready for this. Are you ready for this, please? Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Let, let me start with idea essay. This essay will discuss. I mean, no, let, let me start with opinion viewpoint essay, please. Opinion viewpoint essay. This essay will discuss the reasons why it is it is necessary for for cigarette smoking to be banned in the community. This essay will discuss two reasons why it is necessary for opinion essays. So, can somebody let me write it down? So that I can, because I want us to see the comparison. This essay will discuss the reasons why um, cigarette smoking should be banned in the community. Okay. Now, for, for idea essay, this, I mean, for, uh, for discussion, I mean, is someone writing down for me? Please kindly do. It's going to really help to, like, explain what I'm trying to explain. For opinion, I mean, for discussion, I see. This essay, we discuss, I mean, this essay, we discuss the two viewpoints. And the final opinion will be drawn. This essay, we discuss the two viewpoints and the final opinion will be drawn. Okay. Now, for a idea essay. Now, this essay we discuss the origin. Okay, the origin of cigarette cigarette smoking, or the factors that are responsible for cigarette smoking, and the ways by which it could be solved. Factors responsible for cigarette smoking and ways by which it could be solved. All right? 
Now, what is the difference between the three outline statements? Who can tell me? Very easy three out of six person can tell me, please. Please repeat the third essay. <laughs> For the third essay, I said yeah. this essay will discuss the reasons. I mean, I mean the the origin or the the underlying factors. You can say origin, you can say learning factors, you can say root cause. Okay. This essay will discuss the learning factors that are uh, responsible for, for um, cigarette smoking and ways by which it can be eradicated or it can be eliminate, eliminated. So who can tell me the difference between the three essays? Sorry, if, if, if you are not having any distraction around you, kindly unmute and speak to me. Okay. If you are not having distractions, kindly unmute and speak to me. For the opinion view, Yes. Is only discussing the reasons why cigarette smoking should be banned. Okay, which is your own reasons. That is yes. my own viewpoint. This is my own reasons why I think cigarette smoking should be banned. That is personal reasons now. Uh -huh. Can you move on? You said? Can you go on? Go on, move on. Okay. And for discussion essay. It's going to discuss the two views. For discussion essay. Yes. It's causing the, it's causing the two viewpoints. Yes, I will you please. Yes, you discuss the two viewpoints. Yes. And the final right. opinion will be drawn. And the final opinion will be drawn. Okay. Yes. Okay, go then on. And the idea I say, outline for that one, you discuss the origin and understanding. The origin the factor that's responsible. Based on the question, good. Based on the question. Now, um, I like you to understand this so that when you are writing your outline statement, you don't just write anything. Now, I've seen some people try to write outline statements, and the way they wrote the outline statement, they, it, 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 distorted the, it, it distorted the question. The way they wrote the outline statement scattered the question. In fact, it put them into trouble. Okay? Now, let me give an example of. of one out assessment under a opinion viewpoint essay. Okay, I'd like to give you a, an example of out assessment under an opinion viewpoint essay. This essay will discuss the, 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 the advantages of cigarette smoking. smoking. And you know, <laughs> the question said, do you agree or disagree? Okay. That's the question. And then this, the, the, the question now for it, I say, give reasons from your own, uh, give, give reasons for your answer and give, uh, um, uh, and give examples from your personal experience. Now, if you look at that, that person has just finished himself because you are supposed to give reasons for whatever you are picking, not to tell us the advantages or disadvantages. I, 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 I don't know how you're getting me, please. So it's good that one knows what is being expected of him or her and then answer based on it rather than, you know, take, uh, just write anything as an outline statement and believe that there's now we understand what he's saying. No, you have to tell us the exact thing that you are expected to answer and not just write anything. So now I, I, I like to give a little bit of issue about idea SC. There's a conflict between effects and solution. Effects. Now, if, if, if the question goes to and say, pollution has become a major problem in the community. Pollution has become a major problem in the community. Okay. 
um, what are the causes of pollution and what are the effects of pollution? What are the causes of pollution? What are the causes of solution? And what are the effects of solution? Now, so, so the one has said, this essay will discuss the reasons why it is, you know, solution causes problem. The, now, of course, that, 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 that's the dicey rubbish. So, you know, it's <laughs> in trouble. <laughs> now, where, where I'm going is this. Effects. Is it the same thing as solution? No. So, how would the person expect to respond? You will tell us. This essay will discuss the two few. The what? The two few. The two fields. Few points. As in this essay, we discuss the uh, two few points. No, that's talking about Point. discussion now. That's talking about discussion now. I'm dealing with um, cause and effect. I mean, I'm mean, I mean, yes, dealing cause and, and effect. And Yes, that's what the question is. Now, I'm dealing with, I'm dealing with cause and effect. Now, I said, so you put conflict effect as solution. So, what is effect? What is effect? Effect means impact. Effect means um, the, 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 what, what, what happens as a result of an, an, an issue. So if they say like the consequences, the, the consequences, very, very, very perfect. So if you say write the cause and effects, that means you will tell us the factors that bring about pollution, one, and number two, you're going to be telling us um, what happens due to solution, like the negative, the impact of solution of pollution, um, that problem with um, breathing, issues of environmental issue and all that. So once you begin to say that, you are answering your question. But if you are telling us, you know, uh, disadvantage of pollution, that's problem. Just tell us the effects. What happens as a result of pollution? Negative impact or the positive impact, if there's anything like that. So that is how I like us to clear that issue. Now, moving on to solution. Solution is in saying, what will you do to stop the negative impact? Or what we need to stop the problem, and that is pollution. All right. So I've also said this. Um, I like us to um, look at some context. How do you place your? How do you write some of these things? You know what you are writing, especially for um, advantages and disadvantages. Okay. There are some frameworks that you can you can actually um, use when you are writing your um, I mean uh, uh, I mean uh, idea essay. Uh, and I, I like to give us especially for the advantage. Let me just do that copy and send to us now. But having said all of this, I like us to um, find a way to like just study these frameworks and see how we can apply them accurately okay let's try and study them and then um, see how we can now for before i go into that look at some of the ways you can uh, write your body after you have you know set your first paragraph which i mean your first sentence which is you know foremost among the causes of so and so is this and they will tell us this causes this is this to this brings an effect now this this one is for causes, all right. And then the next one I want to be uh, I want to be sending is for effects. I'm doing this because I know that we may have difficulties writing down. So let me just copy for us to have it. Look at it. So in your explanation, these are these are the frameworks you can use. Okay. Both for the first and the second 
So of course, this is the, this one is for effects. Effects. Okay. An effect can be positive, and effect can also be negative. So, in this kind of situation, you can decide to, you know, talk about a positive effect in your first idea, then a negative effect in second idea. But of course, many of the times, effects are often negative. So we should not really believe ourselves looking for positive effects. Okay. Now I was talking about how do you point out disadvantages? Okay. When you are you are talking about disadvantages, you don't just say um, moving on to disadvantages. Try to find a way you can write it, and then that will attract the examiners. Okay. Look at this to present its disadvantages. Look at this. Look at this. You said to point out disadvantages to some or to point out disadvantages of some ideas, or to point out disadvantages of whatever you want to talk about. Maybe a cigarette smoking, comma. It is probably true that this is but now you you are trying to avoid a a, a assumption that. Every single thing now, now the guy this point clearly. When you're writing disadvantages, don't write it like you have a you are already having a bias point towards it. Okay. Moving on to disadvantages, it's probably true that there are some positive effect of this, but there is a negative impact as I mean, that, that can be caused based on so and so. Then you give your explanation an example. Secondly, it will be said that. Then you talk about this the second advantage, and this would be you mentioned it. This means there's a danger that we would then you talk about the danger. Then other ways you can present advantages, okay, is you know, it may be true that X is cheaper. Nevertheless, in the long term, it will become a more expensive. That, that's just an example now, expensive option. While X may have some advantages, this appear to be outweighed by the cost of so and so it might initially appear to be desirable to do x but on its closer inspection the idea suffers from several problems there seem to be a number of drawbacks as we said with this and the most significant now this is one is one i like you to, to use this one i just mentioned now this is a very powerful one now these are frameworks so don't think see when you're writing some of these things yeah you get some of these things this one i just posted now Okay, although there seems to be a number of, of drawbacks associated, I mean, uh, uh, um, um, moving on to disadvantages, there seems to be a number of, 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 of drawbacks associated with this. The most significant of them is so and so. I wish you get that, please. Okay. Now, if you want to describe problem, this is how you can describe it. Now, remember that we talked about how you describe reasons. The foremost reason, you know, why so and so should be so is all we're, all we're, all we're talking about our, um, our discussion. We said supporters of this view claim that, okay. Now, for the idea I say, this is a very good way you can write or write your. Advantage, I mean, disadvantage. There seem to be a number of drawbacks associated with so and so. The most now for your prob for the problems, problems. Okay, the grave. Look at this one. However, the greatest problem. Okay, associated with pollution is so and so. Okay, I want to get that, please. Look at another one. The long-term consequence problems for so and so may include. Look at this. 
All right. So uh, um, I I like you to find out how very simply you can apply some of these um, points in your uh, in your essay. I remember the same principle for example and explanation remains the same. It is not changed. For your explanation, try to like make your for explanation, try to make your points non-emotional and try to use a lot of tentative statements as possible. And then try to ensure that you there are no grammatical errors, avoid spelling errors, and avoid punctuation errors. Then in your example, try to write passive examples, passive statement examples. Try to write your object as your, I mean your subject as your object and your object as your subject. And try to make examples to be avoid it to be non-personal. Don't make it a personal issue, and um, avoid using too many statistics. Just move, move straight to the point and be very straight to the point. You don't allow for too personal examples. As a matter of fact, don't allow personal. And then avoid in, uh, avoid personal statements. Personal statements. Okay. Now, in your, in dealing with conclusion. The conclusion for idea essay is similar to the way you're going to write your viewpoint essay, but there will not be issue of it seems logical because it is not your point. Okay, you just tell us your suggestion if you have any. You tell us your your thoughts. Just write it out. You don't have to tell us whether it's logical or not logical because it's not your own. You are not told to defend it. You are not giving instructions to defend it. Just tell us what you think, and don't don't bring it. Don't devolve your personal thoughts about it. Make it just a general thought. Now, for example, I can just say something like um, pollution has been found to be a dangerous environment, a dangerous commodity in our environment. Hence, there should be effort to make sure it is not. I mean, it it, it is controlled. Okay. Please, if you can help, help to repost, uh, Mrs. Oluwashola, please, can you help uh, people that are requesting for repasting to repaste on the chat work so that they can actually see all the things you have been sending? Okay? Thank you, ma'am. Okay. I'd like to send something quickly again around. Um, Topic, uh, the, the topic sentence for cause and effects. Okay, so let, let me just focus on, on the conclusion now. Let me leave the cause and effect. Let's go conclusion. Okay, now these are the two languages that I will I will like you to use in dealing with conclusion that I think is easier and better to use. I think so. Don't mind me, I'm only thinking, I'm not exactly sure. To sum up and conclusively, they are the best languages you can apply to start your conclusion. Okay. Then the conclusion should be maximum of three sentences. In fact, two sentences is enough. You try to summarize your main ideas, that is true. Of outline paraf paraphrasing. And then you just add up a little bit of, uh, uh, you know, you know what, what I call a mind restatement in the, you know uh, of your of your idea and all that. So just just add that one up. Let me give few examples of um, a. a of conclusions here that we can actually adopt. Okay. Look at this. Overall. It seems that video games 
can be useful parts of children's education, provided that the content is monitored by parents. This is more or less like an opinion essay. To uh, opinion discussion essay. To sum up, mm -mm, this is more like an opinion viewpoint, not discussion. To sum up, it appears that tourism is a benefit to less developed countries as long as Canada. So that let there be a clear statement of your idea. Now, before you talk about these things that you are, you are saying right here, this is how I believe you should start your um, your 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 um, conclusion conclusively or to sum up. This essay discussed this and that and that and that as it will be to this and that. Full stop. Okay. Then you now say you now move to this one. It seems that video game, you can now write that one, or you can now say it appears that tourism is beneficial to France. So, so you, I, I think writing that little freeze is going to allow you to have a direct ability to, like, to intentionally, you know, uh, summarize your opinion, view, your, your outline statements, and then move to now tell us what you want to tell us about this. Now look at the one on top. He said, overall, the environment is certainly a media priority. However, it should be seen as seen as one among a range of issues to be solved. A solution themselves could lead to a better preservation of nature. So that's just like a suggestion. Okay. So suggestion, restatement, um, then telling us your opinion are very strong ways to write your conclusion. So after all of this, um I I I like to have our thoughts. Do we consider um Tax two essay simpler than tax one essay. Because by next week, what we're going to be doing more or less is going to be focused on examples. We're going to be doing essays. At least we we'll, we'll start with um, um, tax one essay. We're going to do it together. Tax two essay. Then we'll end the class. That's how it's simpler. <laughs> okay. Um, could, could we have other views? Do we see tax one essay simpler or tax two essay simpler for uh, in, in, de in dealing with this uh, uh, stuff? Tax one essay or tax two essay simpler or tougher? Okay, let's have our thoughts. Ah, everybody's tax one is simpler. Oh, okay. Ah, oh that or oh, that? It's okay. Since everybody is saying that, I, I agree. But for me, me, I think that's too simple. Shall now? Let me not tell us how do you improve. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. Someone is going to my side now. That's too simple. If you, if you, if you know the topic, okay. Uh, I, 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 I'll tell you my um, how you can improve your tax to acumen. Okay. Um, how can you how can you get better at that question? Okay, because there is a secret about that too that you need to know tonight. We have talked about the water level thing you but if you know all of these things and you don't know that secret, there's problem. There's problem. See? And what's the secret? Just write it down. I always measure my secrets. How to shut up as two? Eh? I want to put up a suspense a little bit. Okay. Um, how to shut up as two? By the use of ideas. Ideas. That's how to shut up as two. Ideas. Now that is the greatest reason why we fail. Okay. Now, let me write this topic down. Write this topic down. Write this topic down. All right. It's from my head. I don't, it's not any topic from any way. I'm just scared from my head. Moon travel or moon transition is a new phenomenon in our community. Hence, a lot of governments are putting much money on moon 
travel. Full stop. Okay. Do you agree or disagree? Okay. That funds should be should be expended. I said moon travel, moon moon travel or moon uh, moon transition. Okay, is a new phenomenon in our community. Okay, and a lot of government are conversing on. Yeah, com a lot of government are conversing on spending a lot of money on moon transit. Do you agree or disagree that money should be spent on this? Now, the first issue is that number one, you don't know anything about moon. <laughs> you have not gone to moon before. You don't, uh, as a matter of fact, you don't eat anything that's do with uh, all this uh, travel up and down, moon, whatever. You don't know, you, do, you wait and it's all this horrible stuff. They're not asking you to tell us the reason why they should not spend money. Now, if you have been listening to news or watching movies or whatever, there is very likely to be a level of information they are going to have about this thing. And the more you have had something about it, better for you. The more you have had some, not everything, something. So what do you do when you are having two weeks to IELTS exam? You're preparing for tax two, preparing for tax one, what do you do? There's only one solution, read, 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 and read. Become an addict of reading. Okay? Read books, newspapers, uh, in articles, in or anything, everything that comes across, and just be reading, just be reading, 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 reading. If you can read at least 10 pages every day, if you can read 20 pages every day. Now, this is leisure reading. Now, let me tell you the difference between leisure reading and reading to understand. The difference is this. In leisure reading, you are reading just to while away time. But unconsciously, everything you are reading is going to your mind. It's going to your mind, it's storing. It's an investment, it's storing. So whenever you are writing, sometimes some things just, will just appear. I mean, they will always appear in, 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 in your thought system, unconsciously. And the same way as you keep on doing that, keep on doing that, unconsciously, your mind will keep on coming on, doing on it, coming on it, reading on it, coming on it, until you just become a normal thing you'll be, you'll be able to talk about or write about or, or, or speak about in your speaking test, in your reading test, in your writing test. So read, reading becomes a major trick to deal with IELTS, the trick. Don't allow yourself to be lazy. As you say, I don't do reading. Let me advise you. First, do it. When you, if you don't like reading, no problem. Just because of IELTS, be reading. When IELTS is true, throw all your book away, it has Download BBC app. Read at least five news or three news every day. Just be reading. Just be reading. Improve your ideas. Expand your scope. Expand your mind. And then if you can possibly write down vocabularies, write it out. Write it out. 
Write it out. Okay? Write it out. Write it out. Let it be a normal thing. Before you know what you are talking about, your mind is full of ideas. Full. Full of ideas. So I encourage us, let reading become an habit. Okay? Let it become an habit. Let it become a norm. Let it become a, an attitude. Let it become a system. Because you need ideas. And articulating an idea is from the abundance of what you have in your mind. So, so that, <laughs> when the time you talk about why government you spend on the moon, you're not going to say, because of food. <laughs> the food, how? Oh, maybe so that you can eat well. Ah, Kodora. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in any bad discussion that you are trying to use to defend something that you don't know. Ah, it, at least it, it should have some level of resemblance. Okay, so I've also said this. Um, that's the major secret, and I think we can always take our time to take it as a hobby. For now, let us read, 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 and read. At least read leisurely. Don't read, you don't have to read like seriously. Just take some leisure. Just, you know, leisure. Just when you're in the toilet, you're traveling, you are you're at work and you're doing anything. Find a way. Okay? Now, I like to ask questions. So, at this point, everybody's just looking at me like uh, I'm enjoying myself here. But let's ask our questions, please. Let's ask our questions. I don't ask one, I don't ask two. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I've not spoken about in that two, so that I can just go back to it and say it. But please, um, let's have our questions quickly. Mm -hmm. Let's be free. Can send that question into the box. I thought next week we are doing passages. We're just doing passages, writing and reading. We'll be reading together. I think what we do is that the first maybe two classes we do it together, then we'll not be doing tests. So when you come here to be doing tests, we do it live. So we do the test live. Then when you finish, just snap your work and send to me. I just say stop. And then you snap your work, send to me a mark, and I give you your score. Okay. But the first two, two days, we'll be doing tests and we'll do it together. So we see how you do it, you see how I write, you see how I do whatever I do. I will be testing it, you writing it down. That's what you'll be doing. So that you can at least use your hand to write and then pick it, the pattern. Questions? Questions, please. Okay. I'm just thinking if you try a passage tonight, if you like, I'll try a passage tonight. We'll see how it goes. Since nobody's asking questions. So if you like ask my questions, and what I'll do is I'll be picking people to answer. So I'll just tell you, these are my questions. Can you answer? Then you now answer for me. All right? Okay. Um they're talking about parameters. Parameters, okay. Parameters. Hmm? What are the parameters for writing tax two that we judge whether you have a bar seven or not? Parameters, parameters. What are the parameters for writing tax two? Uh, okay, let me let, let me just let me just unmute some. Hey, once I unmute you, you answer my question.
Once I unmute you, now you answer the question now. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay, I want to see people that are a bit far. Okay, Mr. Tony. Ah, Mr. Tony Bogey, bless him. You are able to join. All right. I have to somebody. So, ask our question, man. If I'm just for that skill. Ah, no be a motor. Let me pick somebody. I know this person. Let me just pick that. Okay. I will tell somebody now. I'm not another person. Also, I'm not saying, please answer the question. People are not saying, no, I'm not saying. Okay, good evening. <clears throat> I wasn't part of the class, but I think I can get the framework that I was able to just for an effective task to essay is a proper introduction. Hello? I would you please, but uh, okay. I want to get... proper introduction that has a general view or a neutral statement, a background statement, a thesis statement. Then it must also contain a body paragraph that... Um, sorry, I'm trying to... I'm pivoting through what I wrote down. Okay, background paragraph, a body paragraph rather, a concession and then a conclusion. If I'm right. Please. How the part of that class that day? Yeah, where I was just. Yeah, the question I asked was, what are the parameters for tax two? All right, is she right? Okay. Is she right? Okay. Ah. Hello. Hello. No, no, sir. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I asked I asked to answer. Not really. <laughs> Which one is not really okay. now? Okay. Okay. I just know that we have no idea. She's not, really not right. Really. I'm sorry. I don't know. Is it? Yeah, sure. okay. She tried, but she wanted to. So, are you response, talking about the tax response, parents, and correction, grammatical response, and accuracy? I think that should be for task one. Is asking for task two as well. For task two. Asking for task two. Yes, for task two. It's still the same. It's still the same. I think. But it's the same thing. The same and conclusion. So no, your task question, your word one, counts, is understanding of the question, and the approach to question. Okay. Hello, sir. I think, uh, I'm and so happy that everybody is, uh, is fighting for me. Okay. I have a little issue here with my battery. It's really hot. So I can hear you, I can hear you, but please just hold on for me. I'm trying to like, okay, get my phone. Okay, sir. Thank you. I'm happy to do it. I'm The first one that is prompt responding to me. So I needed to find out what was happening. So now um I think we should just have some time to ask questions. I I I think it's going to help us. Uh, because okay. I'm saying so many things and you know, I told people, when people ask me that, why don't I teach in details? I said, because I'm not a teacher. I'm a coach. <laughs> and uh, my, my focus for this stuff is not to allow you to know, know about IET. My focus is so that you can know, have an idea of the tips that you need to pass. So that's why I call my own um, I had a um, platform, I had tips and success. 
I don't do story story. I don't I don't tell you how English started in 1982. I don't. Uh, I'm not. I, it's not my own business. I don't want to know uh, adjectival phrases uh, for 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 dimension. It's not my. I don't care if you like. Go and learn that one. And if you need help on that one, I will send video to you to learn. But my one is just know the tips that is important for you to get your score. That's all. So, and I'm saying men's I said, and that's why it's possible for us to cover a lot of things in short time because in a very short time, because we are trying to trash the tips. And if you can learn the tips properly, I don't know whether for some people, I don't know whether they want to go and collect award nine. Maybe they want to have 8.59 and they say the best IH writer. But for me, oh, just have your seven in everything and go. <laughs> just seven, 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 seven. I don't have time. If he's telling you the gimmicks of a, of a, 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 a data clause and a free server, that's, that's their business. So now, as much as possible, what I'm telling you, if you can know it very well, as far as writing is concerned, you are going to pass with seven. So far, I've had um, about maybe 50 students, if I'm not saying too much, and I've asked for the exam so far. Of the 50 students, only two or three are straight writing. Just maybe two or three or four are straight writing. So it's my, my, the rate of success for my writing is top notch. Even those who possibly had issues in their exam had issues with reading. And reading is my best point, but I've not been able to learn how to pass my skill reading. To people. That's why they may have issues with it. But for writing, because I don't know. <laughs> it was a general. It's okay. Maybe because I don't really know. Let my people go. <laughs> it's okay. We don't have time to be doing the uh, English language. Just, 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 just let me get out. Just, I don't care. Just give I mean, let my uh, people go. <laughs> okay. So now, back what I was saying, it's, it's tested. At least of the time of the people that have had social damage, I've had 2.5, 2. I've had a lot of 7, a lot of 6.5. So, maybe two. The one that had six, I was shocked because it shocked me. And I was that I never discovered that the problem with that was idea. That's why I tell you, read, read, read. Don't tell me, sir, that question. I don't even know what to write. Ah, no, 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 no. You must, any, anything that comes to your way, once it's a material that has something inside, read it. And that's why I tell people, if possible, download, um, download the BBC News app. What it does for you is that it gives you a wide range of opportunity to get many informations at the same time. You can read about fish, about labor, about river, about culture, about tourism. Everything is there. So it's just for you to just go and read it. And as long as you're reading, you are expanding your, your net of vocabulary skills. And that is good for your reading as well. And that's the reason why it is it is real for somebody to, to to have problem with reading and writing at the same time. If you are good in reading, you're good at writing. That's the normal thing. But if you're, if you're not real of, this, of the structure, you will have problem. So what you are doing now is to learn the structure. And I want to know whether we learn it. So I will just use the remaining few minutes to test our knowledge because I'm not teaching us depth. I'm not here to do professional professor teaching. So now, ma. You missed that answer. The answer is the answer to the question is what everybody was saying. Task response, um, uh, coherence and coercion. Okay, lexical resource and grammatical inaccuracy. Now you can possibly use these um, parameters to know whether you are. You are now a better uh, 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 writer or or not. You can use it to know your level of proficiency. 
It has you to know whether you are fit for the exam or not. It is a very good way to, use, to, to, to know your level. And you see, how you use it, how you use it is by ensuring that when you write, you are assessed. Whenever you write, make sure you are assessed. So now, after this particular window of classes, okay, make sure you find an assessor. Eh? It could be someone that you that, that is in, uh, there are many assessors around. You can get them online and get them anywhere. I assess to, but find an assessor. It could be an examiner, it could be a white person. Be sending your work to them. Let them check your work and tell you that you are okay. That I mean, they, if they will talk to you, they will not tell you that your writing is good. They will tell you your tax response is top notch. Your because if you're assessing yourself, you will see yourself. You just don't yourself lying, saying, "What you do, you go, what you do, you go, lying on me." Now, <laughs> what I was writing for the few times I wrote before I passed. <laughs> yeah, I used to think I'm writing very well. I would say, "Wow!" In fact, I, I used to clap for myself. Now, wow, wow! Uh -uh, I wrote that big English. I, I didn't know that that was not what they are looking for. So let let the assessor tell you that. You are good with logical resource. Let this be an assessor that will tell you that hmm, you are now good with grammatical range and accuracy. Let it be, don't let it be you. So you will tell yourself a lie. That's the truth. So get an assessor to help you with your writing and possibly your speaking. You may not you may not bother going to uh, do any other lecture up and down. Just once you have known these tips and you start framing up your essay, get an assessor. Let them mark for you, tell you your parameter, your parameter deficiency, okay? And then you now work on it. And if you now need a class to work on it, eh, eh, that's better. Because sometimes we just find ourselves doing many things that we don't know the reason we are doing it. Why we are doing this class is because we want to know how to improve on our parameters. Because we don't even know their parameters. Let's say we have not identified for that our parameters. Now we have known the parameters. The next phase is how can I, I can I, 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 how can I build on them individually? All right? To build your uh, tax response is by practice. The same thing applies to queries and questions. But to build your Lezica resource and grammatical accuracy is by reading. Another thing you should be reading is past essays of exam either examiners or correct writers. There are books that are dedicated to tax two essays. They are purely tax two essay dedicated books. So the focus of the book is just to know to, to, to see that two essays. In fact, I have a particular access to a material of essays of past examiners. Okay. Uh, I, mean, I mean, not past, uh, past candidates and their score and how they score them. Yes, they repeat questions, but it is very rare. I does not repeat questions with the rapidity of other, um, other exam board bodies. It's rare. But definitely, they repeat questions. They have, they have a pool of questions. So, but you are not after whether they have a question. What you are after is to know your weakness, to deal with your weakness and become, let that weakness become your strength. That's what you are after, not to copycat dimension. You know your weakness. I have students that are very weak in vocabulary. And I know what I tell them. I have students that are weak in tax achievement or tax response. I know that I tell them. And after that, I have that weak week, week in um, lexical resource. The most common is grammatical inaccuracy. But if you are aware of your weak points, 
and you still go ahead and write the exam. It's a waste of money. So the issue now is there's it's one thing that you know that ah, I have a problem with this area. It's another thing that you don't even know at all. That one is, is still better because at least you will not know the I mean you could be lucky and something could happen just past. But one that you know that I will still use to write wrong grammar. You now go and register for it. Ah, it's not magic. You have a problem. That's normal. You have a problem with the exam. So you must master that area, get good with it, then go for the exam. You will pass. And if an assessor tells you that you are good to go, please don't spend another one, one month. Go and write. My own assessor, what? When I, the, the first time I acknowledged that I needed a teacher, and then they were teaching me, I didn't have time with that teacher very well. So I went to the exam, I wrote the exam. And before that time, I used to spend 30 minutes to 40 minutes to write task one. I will now spend, I will now be rushing on task two. So I was not comfortable with that level, but I still went for the exam. I had this. When I now came back, my eyes opened. I, 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 I felt bad and I told myself, until I get an assessor, I am not writing again. So God gave me somebody like that. The person said, the first time he wrote eyes, he, he failed. He now did personal preparation for eight months. Personal preparation for a goal. Personal. After the preparation, he still failed. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what we are. He passed. He played the game. Ah! You mean he was your last? <laughs> now, the problem was no assessor. So I think he went to get an assessor. He learned some things. Then he now passed. So when he taught me for three weeks, he said, I'm fine. I said, Fine. Hey, be fine. I'm not fine. He said, Sir, you are fine. You thought I'm saying you are fine. Or, ah, yeah, yeah. I wrote that for three months, so I was practicing and I kept on sending messages to him. Please, so, you know, this time I was pursuing up and down. Please check my work. Check my work. That I spent another one yesterday. You didn't check it. He said, I've checked. No, sir. I'm with no. Please let me check it. You shall know me. I was begging up and down. So it was a week to the exam. He said, sir, you are already going beyond normal. I said, no, I must. So I, I tried my best to pursue everything I can, pursue everywhere. <laughs> There's no baby bro. If you don't know, you don't know. If you know, you know. That's it. So it took me and I was ready. I knew that I was ready, but I was still praying because I just wanted to pass. So I went for the exam and I passed. Now, what, what, what I'm trying to say is that don't try to struggle when you know the solution to the problem. Get someone that will assess you. After this class, don't bother going for another class. They are starting the ones who teach you again. Let me tell you, when I checked some materials and I saw what it was there, I ran away. I said, me, I'll not be doing this one. I'll not imagine. You know, they're telling you, we don't want to talk about at the time of class. They me. You know, they didn't tell you that at the time of class. You know what you see? I don't know the general. Just tell me what I need to. It was at the time of class. Oh, no, no, no. Let me know. <laughs> Let me just know what I need to know. I don't need any driver. Let me know the issue. So if you go and say you want to be written up and down, no problem. They will teach you preposition, the process, the principle of everything. You'll be learning nonsense that you don't need. What you need now is know your weak points, get them, get, get yourself assessed, and then if you know that that weak point is a serious weak point, you may now need a class where they now take your nature. Eh, that one, you know what you're treating. Eh, eh. So now let me ask a few other questions. What is the difference between opinion viewpoint essay and opinion discussion essay? Somebody should just unmute an answer. Opinion viewpoint essay and opinion discussion essay. Opinion view essay is your own point. Why discussion view 
these other people's uh, reasons. Okay, thank you. Huh? Can I have another reason? Opinion viewers say. If you are answering the question, please let me see your face. So. Okay, opinion viewers say is telling them about your own, your own view points. Yes. Explaining your reasons. While opinion I'll, discussion is is taking the two viewpoints, then picking one that you narrow down on text. All right. Now, can I have another reason apart from that? Thank you, ma'am. Can I have another reason? Aside that. Hello? We are together, sir. Yeah, our other reason apart from that. I want three reasons. But you like freak anybody. Now, if I if you see me trying to unmute you, know that I'm asking you. Okay, so far I just unmuted. So. Okay, so can I have your answer? If you see me trying to unmute you. What about concession? Nobody mentioned concession. Um, that's what I want to see. <laughs> <laughs> then opinion okay. opinion discussion have the uh, conclusion have the point the but for the discussion in discussion there is no concession there's no concession body two only body two one body two Okay. And we oh, give but, our answer in the introduction, in opinion view. We give, we give answer, answer in, the, in the introduction, while uh, in, in discussion opinion. in the oh, discussion, in giving your conclusion. Thank you. Beautiful. All right. So now, one more question. How can you start your opinion body that is different from how you start your Opinion of your points. That the points that we get in this class, they are much. If you don't take time to study them and apply them, not just study alone, but apply them, you are going to be having issues in reality when you get to the exam. How do you start your body for opinion? How do you start your body for this person? For opinion view. For opinion view. To start with, perhaps the foremost reason why that's for opinion view. Then uh, discussion. That's all right, firstly, to begin with. Yes, they yeah, are not true. We just talked about the concession is on the connective devices. It's okay. Yes. Yes, it's, now we're looking for also. Supporters, supporters of this group have argued. Or, opinion mm -hmm. discussion. Opinion discussion, yes. This essay we discussed. No, I'm talking about how you start the body. No. How do you start the body? For the opinion and, and, and viewpoint, it's accurate. But for the. Nobody has been able to. To start us. with, supporters of this point argue that. Exactly. So, 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 so. Exactly, so, so, so. exactly. But exactly. right, that's it. So now. Our uh, proponents of this uh, point. Proponents of this point of this view claim that 
allude to that, assert that, argue that, debate that, and all that. So now, can, you, can somebody tell me, this is the last question I'll be asking for tonight. And if you check our the Telegram page, I'll be pasting three assignments. One for opinion viewpoints, one for um, discussion, and one for, uh, I, I mean, for idea. We are, we are having a next class next Monday. We are going to be taking one of those this, uh, stuffs per day. And I will also be giving us one or two back one essay questions to Andrew. So next week, we are going to be dealing with them one by one together as a class, but we, are, we require that you write them and send to me, okay? The last question, how do you start your disadvantage, if you want to write um, an idea for disadvantage, how do you start your point? How do you start your body? You want to write a disadvantage idea essay or another idea essay, how do you start your point? Just look for where you wrote it down and then let me know. Foremost amongst the courses are that is for courses disadvantage disadvantage. No, disadvantage. On the one hand, those who support taxation no. of hmm. no 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 no. There's it. It talks about a drawback something something about drawback. There there seems to be a number of drawback associated with exactly. it. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Now, learn all these things. These are key issues. I'm telling you. You see, let this framework be the way. But if I see you write essay, and you are sending to me, and I'm now seeing you are now writing, uh, uh, you know, in when when we turn to talk about disadvantage, you and you and you still there to be. When you begin to use to we, you have stored the advantage the essay to your personal family property. <sighs> This essay is professional, it's yeah, yeah. academic. <laughs> learn those ideas, learn those structures. Let it be normal part of your writing. Make it a norm of your writing, and then you find it easy to. Write. Now, on, on the final note, there are too many things to think about. Do your essay and essay, and one of them is your idea. You can't be thinking about idea and still be thinking about how to put it down. You must have a framework that you are used to in putting it down. You can't be thinking of using your head, the same head. <clears throat> and that's why there will not be time. By the time you have mastered, you have written out your ideas, maybe ideas or ideas for each of the whatever, and you now want to put it down. You're not thinking, ah, people see my call. That's headache. So master the writing pattern. Get used to it. The way you will start it, the way you are going to go to your second uh, uh, body paragraph, I mean, your, your second point, then your, the way you are going to write your effects, the way you are going to go to your uh, uh, second body, how you are going to choose your second body, and all that. You are, if you have mastered them, I mean, you are fine. You are fine. Fine. It's not like you can write on that way, but whatever you are writing, let it be a pattern that you are used to. And let it be a pattern you are Then you usually, you may usually write with whatever you are writing your essay. Okay? So, I've tried to seek our, um, if you have questions, but nobody is asking questions. So, now that we don't waste our time, um, I will ask Mr. Bell to speak to us. We'll be meeting next week, Monday. And it's going to be purely practices. And all that we're practicing, trying to have some essays, see how we are going to put it, and all that. Then that we can move forward. So, um, Mr. Bella, can you kindly this to us, sir? And if you still have questions, no problem. I can still ask um, before before the class finally closes tonight. Thank <laughs> you.
Isabella is that driving uh, this. So, um, I will round up. I want to thank everyone for coming. Uh, we had a, little, a very low number of persons starting today. Let's try and see it as a point to try and come a bit earlier to start with and let us start and then have the next time of also. So thank you. Thank everyone. you. Thank you, Mr. Steven. Good night. Good night, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good night. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Good night. Bye bye.